one species at Chester has never struggled to expand its ranks. Meerkats really are quite prolific breeders, especially in the zoos. You start with two and then within the blink of an eye, you're overrun with the things. Meerkats usually live in mobs of up to 50, where there's safety in numbers. But the zoo's previous mob were disbanded after the dominant members died. So Beagle and Husky have recently moved here as the new breeding couple. They've come from two different zoos and they've only just met since we've had them at Chester, so they are still getting to know each other. So hopefully moving on to the future, we're going to have a nice big mob, as you would um, expect to see them in the wild. Chester's previous meerkats always cohabited with another species. Now that Beagle and Husky are settled, the keepers have some housemates for them. They're both African species. They would possibly live in the same sort of places out in Africa. The new lodgers are nocturnal, mainly active at night. Good. Can you back on, yeah? The meerkats are only out in the day. So in theory, they shouldn't really cross paths that much. So there's no reason why they shouldn't be happy enough living together. The zoo's three aardvarks are initially released into the sleeping quarters. First out is male, Koos. Hello. Then females, Tatsu and Oni. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I would say most animals in the animal kingdom are really very adaptable. But Beagle and Husky seem anything but keen on their new housemates. When the meerkats saw the aardvarks, their response was to sprint in the opposite direction and hide away. So this is going well. <laughs> it's going really well. <laughs> With the meerkats escaping outside, the aardvarks follow and discover an entire backyard to explore. If I had to share my home with an aardvark, I would probably be in tears every day because as much as I love them, they're so destructive. They wreck everything. They've got such big claws. They dig massive holes, really deep burrows. So, yeah, the meerkat's lovely enclosure is going to be unrecognisable. So when you were a kid and it was like Christmas Eve and you're just, like, <laughs> too excited to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> Instead of heading for bed, the aardvarks are hunting for insects. In the wild, they survive on a diet of ants and termites and can eat up to 50,000 ants in one meal. But the meerkats seem wholly unimpressed with their table manners. They are making quite a lot of alarm calls. The sort of noises they would make in the wild if they were threatened. Eventually, the meerkats flee and take refuge under a rock. The team go in to try and reassure them. They don't want to come out. They do feel, you know, a little bit on edge. What's wrong? The keepers were hoping that the meerkats would breed, but now Beagle and Husky have other things on their mind. The courtship might have been put on hold temporarily, but for meerkats like Beagle and Husky to be thriving, they need to be in a mob. You know, it's like the power of the pack, you know, so they, f they feel a lot more confident when there's a big mob of them. We need them to breed, really. We need a mob of meerkats again. Relations between the aardvarks and Beagle and Husky have not improved. The meerkats are running scared and show no signs of breeding. Meerkats! They're just not as brave as they could be. For the meerkats, you know, if there was several animals in the mob, they might feel different, but with just the two, they're still a bit shy. But the aardvarks are having a great time. They have completely remodelled the meerkat enclosure. Much to the meerkat's despair, I imagine. Beagle and Husky are refusing to sleep in the bedroom, which the aardvarks have taken over.
we need to give them somewhere that they can go now, somewhere that they will feel safe and somewhere that the aardvarks can't steal. So we're actually going to create them a new um, indoor area and we're going to have a little tunnel that leads from the paddock into the new bedroom for them. The new tunnel is just meerkat sized, so the aardvarks can't get in. Beagle, the male, investigates first. Then calls over Husky to explore the new honeymoon suite. Hey, you two. What's this? This bit's all yours, isn't it? Hard folks can't get to you when you're in here. It's just for you. Now you can get on with making some babies, now that you've got the privacy that you need. Hopefully the meerkats, they'll get their heads back in the game and remember why they're here. Fingers crossed, our meerkat mob will be growing in number very shortly. It's been a week since meerkats Beagle and Husky moved into their new bedroom across the paddock from their messy housemates. Things are starting to settle down with the Arbox and the meerkats and they've both got their own separate areas um, and also a communal area they can use as and when they choose. Hey, hey buddy. What's this? One for you. There you go. Their new private bedroom also seems to be having the desired effect on their love life. They have been mating. We've seen them doing lots of nice mating behaviours and Husky is actually looking a little bit more rotund than she was before. So I don't want to, you know, put the cat amongst the pigeons, but I've got my fingers crossed, that's all I'm saying. Beagle and Husky are even starting to get curious about their housemates. They are naturally very inquisitive animals, so they just can't help themselves having a little nosy what's going on. We have observed the meerkats once or twice, testing the water, seeing how close they can get to the aardvarks. I think the meerkats are, are learning very gradually, sort of day by day process, that actually maybe these aardvark things, they're not that bad after all. <laughs> <laughs> 